Marine Performance Systems deliver a unique solution around air lubrication technology, which reduces the fuel consumption of a ship traveling through water at normal service speed between 8 and 12 percent. Which means this is not just good for operational efficiency, but great for sustainability as well, which is why we believe this is a great fit into our toolbox of solutions around sustainable shipping. The shipping industry has ambitious targets to be carbon neutral by 2050. From Alfa Laval, we're supporting this with a number of initiatives. And we have invested in marine performance systems because we believe that their solution will help our customers to achieve their targets. Friction is one of the main drivers for fuel consumption when you're sailing your ship. An air lubrication system provides a layer of bubbles between the hull of the ship and the water when sailing and therefore reduces the energy consumed. This is a win-win because it both reduces the carbon footprint and also reduces the energy bill for our customers. And even though air lubrication is not a new technology, MPS has a unique solution. Air lubrication system has been on the market for quite some while with varying results. Now marine performance system introduced fluidical it is the first fluidic air lubrication system on the market that combines two proven technology into delivering 8 to 12 percent net fuel savings and reduction in emissions. Fluidical is unique because of how we control the air layer, how we can maintain the air layer. It's unique because of how we can generate the air bubbles only using only one to two compressors. And we can cover the largest flat bottom area of any solutions on the market. Ship owners are looking for solutions. And it's not easy because there's many solutions out there and the future is uncertain. But fluidical can be retrofitted to the existing vessel, making it compliant with upcoming regulation. Or it can be integrated into new vessel designs, making them more energy efficient and future proof. It's very interesting, and not many people know this, but this technology was first developed by our founder, Gustav de Laval, in 1883. So for us, it seems we have come a full circle, and it's an absolute joy to be able to take this from a technology to something that will become an industrial product in our lifetime. We are super happy about this one.